four against Alabama. Last 25 games, Arkansas has won 19 of them. And the corner guy, he will shoot threes. And the first jump shot of the night, nothing but the bottom for Devontae Davis. Eight on the shot clock for Petty. Gets the high screen and the drive. And wow, throws it up with the left. Really good. It's a sprint out ball screen, and they flipped it up, up top and get Lot Petty to his left hand. What does Alabama do? They shoot threes, they shoot rim shots, and free throws. They will not take tough twos in this game. Moses Moody, tough take around the rim twice and finally down. And tied at six. Five shots to get there. He may need to have one of those performances again tonight. Quinterly's three-point shooting has been really good in conference, but that was a brick. And the push and the basket, it counts. Good, good look. And a foul, Reese Gunnell, and that's another chance for a three-point play. Jalen Tate. I told you about Tate earlier, Rab. He does so many things. Watch the violent cut, boom, just explodes, man. He got his guy just on the high shoulder. Late at some point, he's got to figure it out. Herb Jones penetrates. We get a charge on Herb Jones. Charge drawn that time by Arkansas's Jalen Williams. Low by. Boy, good start, Jalen Tate. Moses Moody, he's a smooth shooter, and he gets it to go. And a foul on Ellis. Chance for a four-point play, Moses Moody. Uh, Moody is organized when he catches that ball. And he shoots a really good ball. Just stood there, Quinterly fired it up, and it was Vanover who went and got the rebound. Here he comes, and he knocks it. Yeah, that's, that, that's what you need from Connor Vanover. If you have not watched Arkansas play, this guy's 7-3, and he's getting tougher by the month. And he got four on the baseline, 4-1 offense. The gaps are bigger to drive. Shot the third. That's a charge. Really good defense again. That time, J.D. Note. Quinterly shooting 53% from three. Watch out. Herb Jones with the flush on a pass from Quinterly. Want shots taken from the six-foot mark to the 19-foot mark. Look at Tate. He had three crimson tied shirts around him. The ball touches his hands. Very unique and difficult to defend. Baseline jumper, it goes from Jalen Tate. Have yourself a game. He's got nine. Moody's got ten. What do you want your point guard to do, man? He can guard the one through five for you. You can take him off the ball, let him score from the short corner. Hard to handle. There's a block. Yes, sir. Henderson into the game with a block at the rim. You have to send a message against a team like Alabama. You, you have to bring the fight to them. Four out. One on the inside, create big gaps and drive it. There you go, Alabama. That, that's who you are right there. Taking what the defense gives you and play with speed under control. Moody and Petty going at each other. They dump it to Henderson. He steps through. Two tied players roll right on top. Petty, that's a tough shot. High wow. arcing three, finds the bottom. Involve him, and tonight, though, the offense is big from number 11. You said it during the break to me. John Petty is starting to feel it a little bit. He's back on the floor, and that's not a good shot. It was never going to go. Jordan Bruner was blocked. It just looked like Jimmy. There was confusion on offense. Where is yeah. he going here? If you're a post player, you're sitting this back from that meniscus surgery. Yep. Wide open three from the corner. That's better, and it's Bruner. Not be part of it. No, no, no. That, 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 that's not the. That, that's. I don't think that's in the equation tonight, Rabbi. These guys study a lot of film. They understand tendencies. Is this a heavy ball screen being well done by JD Note? Man, the hard nosed plays by Arkansas tonight. The body blow, blow plays. They've done a really good job of them. That's a body blow play. Body on body. You can't let Petty get loose, man. I'm telling you, this is a guy that can go off for six or seven threes. Bruner will try to make another one, and he does. Three of five. We saw Reese early miss four threes. He hasn't played much. Bruner getting the time. That one rattles in and out. And Note will launch again. That one much better. No hesitation by Note is to get a drive opportunity for a drive and kick. Bruner. Bam. Oh, he's on fire, his fourth three. 
And what a half for Jordan Bruner. Alabama will go to break down one. Shackelford. Let's see what Bruner does. Shackelford back in. He was in foul trouble in the first half. He buries a three. There's Bruner. Man, what a start, huh? Quickly. Yes. Now, after all that offense from Arkansas in the first half, just to start this second half, you wonder, all right, so where are the points going to come from? How about in the paint? Nice on him right now. Petty and Williams, one-on-one. Uh-oh. All right, good start right here for Jalen Williams, back-to-back -back buckets. I'll put him in ranks here in just a little bit, but Illinois concerns me. They're too heavy on Io Dosumu and Coburn. They're too heavy on those two players, but those are the eight teams I think can play it, and that's the order I think they're in right now. Big picture college basketball. You see Alabama there is Petty's baseline jumper. Good. You try to attack a gap, you're going to turn that thing over. Reese playing behind the defense on the baseline. It's a tricky spot. Mm, Petty left his feet. That's a turnover. Turnovers for each team now. Knotted up at 10. Tough shot, no good. There's Smith with a deflection in the team. Yeah, the, the key word there is shooters. This kid is. Moody missed, offensive rebound grab. Quinterly, they nearly had a three on none. And it's Moody to the floor. Pretty pass. Smith with back to back baskets. Yeah, back to back effort plays by South. Wu Pig Sui the last two or three minutes. All these type plays, man. The energy. The fight, the passion, Arkansas knows we got the number one team in our league on our home floor. Too easy. Yeah, but he deserved to make the shot because he turned and gets a 14-footer. What a run by Arkansas. Wasn't influenced by the 4,000 coaches yelling at him? <laughs> he was not. <laughs> Herb yeah. Jones, did he pick up his fourth foul? practice when you have a miss a game and it becomes public everybody takes notice that's a big quarterly three he was one of nine from three and yet scored 27 points all of them at the rim no day in traffic who's coming up with the points in the second half Dustin Smith now has nine He's taking those shots Petty with the kick Bruner in the paint, Petty, no, and no foul. He's looking for one, won't be called. And did they get a technical foul? Yeah, I think Petty lost control with his, his tongue discipline. Watch him come in from out of bounds, Jimmy. And then the backboard actually blocks the shot first. Now, uh, now Alabama is forced to play fast offensively, and but they are comfortable doing it. And that's and the turnover. That. The hot nope. hands. Note fouled by Quinterly, and it's coming apart right now for the number six team in the nation, Alabama. Uh, Arkansas from the get-go has been very active and very wide, Ravi, on the ball. They're not playing narrow on the ball tonight. Is a real, real problem for everyone in that NCAA tournament. All right, Herb Jones back in with four fouls. He misses the shot. Bruner missed the follow. Gary was in there as well, and it's danger time here for Alabama. One loss in conference. Chance to win the SEC title tonight, but they got to beat Arkansas, and right now down 13. Note buries a three, and that increases the lead to 16. Seth doing a terrific job of calling the plays that he wants tonight. He's driving the ball to the side that Note's on. Note comes with a jet cut into a wide open three. Ravi sometimes. Tate hard. Petty that time won the battle on the defensive end. Loose ball on the floor. Herb Jones dives for it. If they get a foul on Jones, that's it for the game. He's out. A loose ball scramble, and you have to protect players in a loose ball situation. Herb Jones just dives at the back of Moses Moody. That's the proper call. And he's threes. You're Arkansas. You, you're okay with him driving that ball right now. Just stay up top. Get your heels above the three-point line if you're Arkansas. You win this thing going away. Smith with a flush, and that may do it with two minutes to go. A trip leading into the contact. I don't think it was a foul on the defender. Now that's 31. a foul. I mean, that's a takedown. 
Ravi, a 31 point loss by Arkansas in Tuscaloosa. Well, something's happened on the somewhere. floor, absolutely, and it's Petty again, who's right there with Nate Oates, but if he picked up a second technical, they're already saying goodbye to him. Well, the other part of this too, Jimmy, too, was the frustration level that we saw from Alabama tonight. Obviously, this is the culmination of it with Petty being ejected from the game with the second tech. Close his mouth and walk off the floor. You got it handed to you tonight in Bud Walton Arena. You're a heck of a team. You've had a heck of a year. And the second technical comes in and Doug says, I've heard enough. I've seen enough. You need to go. And what will Alabama do now? And I think Tate is now gone too. He's 11 in white. At that point, Petty's already been tossed. I'm, I'm not so sure that Tate had been teed up as well. No, there. After after that, yeah. After that, J.D. Note was trying to get Tate back, try, trying to drag him away from wherever Tate was trying to go. Quiet release, isn't it, from Moody? Just simple and quiet. Yeah. Yep, whether it's a jump shot or a free throw. Absolutely. There's a little defense from Moody, too, which the crowd loves. And look, let's be honest, you know it. Arkansas didn't want Alabama to come in and celebrate a championship on their floor. The improvement by Arkansas, the belief, the growth in this team. Have no concern saying right now, Arkansas playing the best basketball of anyone in this league, and they're playing it at the right time. Yep, they lost that game 90-59. They have not lost another game in conference. 81-66 statement from the Razorbacks.